feel great. Um, good night's nice rest. So I woke up in a in a good mood. So on the right side of the bed today. Yeah. Nah, it wasn't next to me. It was it was in the case, but um, I was thinking about it though for sure. I was thinking about it. The skills kind of changes your 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 viewpoint on everything. How do you prepare for this? Do you set up the, the same sort of things to try to run through it? Or? Yeah, I mean we had the the setup out here to the, uh, what was it yesterday practicing. Um, so I got to run through it a couple times, try to get a feel for it. But I mean, you no, know, when the lights come on, it's, it's a little different anyway. So. I'm sure I got two good teammates, so I'm sure we'll be fine, and then just hopefully we get the win. Just being on, in the spotlight again on, on NBA All-Star Weekend, just that opportunity, does that bring out the best of you in that competitive team? Yeah, I mean, I like the stage. I love the stage. So um, having a weekend like this, so many people watching, uh, I mean, we're all entertainers at the end of the day. So. Having the lights this bright, I mean, it's, it only makes you want to, you know, up your game and, and perform even better. Was there a particular All Star Weekend pass that you that sticks in your head that you remember and say, "That's when I get there, it's like this"? Yeah, um, I mean, I remember watching a bunch of the the Rising Stars games. You know, just just watching the games, just for you know being a fan of the game and knowing how much talent was on the court. Uh, I'd say my my. The number one like all star moment I remember was the Levine and, and Gordon dunk contest for sure. So that was probably my my top moment. It's tough. I mean Aaron Gordon, like it's he had so many big time dunks in that. I'm, but Levine, you know, I, it's hard to say he didn't deserve that that trophy either though. So I don't know. It's one A one B for real. Yeah, I mean, you know, I just got more and more comfortable. Um, more touches, more reps. You know, learning my teammates better, my coaches learning me better. So, I mean, as the flow of the season went on, um, you know, I started getting more and more adjusted to everything. Wait, I'm going to ask you a WNBA question. Gotcha. So, if you got an NFT of any WNBA player, who would you want? An NFT of any WNBA player. Dang, that's tough. Um, I'm going to have to say Kyrie Irving. I like Liz Cambage. She's tough in the post. I ain't gonna lie. She's a handful in the post. Um, I'm a big Dallas Wings guy. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to rep all my, my hometown teams. Uh, it's tough. I mean, it's it's a bunch of talent in the league right now. I don't really know where to go. Okay, so 2-1-2. Two two. You have to have a W player in your partner. Who would you choose? Uh, I'm gonna go Right, I should get. I gotta get this right. What you saying? There's an answer. There's a right answer. There is a right answer. I'm. I'm trying to think about what type of player I'm trying to pair up with, though. There's a right answer. Who I'm trying to team up with? Um, I kind of want a shooter, though. And you saying there's a right answer still? See, look now you throwing off mine. Let me just think for myself. Uh, you know who I was a, real, a big fan of when they were in college, Kelsey Plum. Kelsey Plum, big time. So I'll probably go with her. Yes, ma'am. Definitely. Um, we didn't step out of anything. We didn't. We didn't go anywhere. But I mean, just being around them, we were all in the in the lobby, chilling, just being around each other, um, celebrating, happy. Definitely. I'm glad they, you know, are able to experience this with me. Um, first All-Star weekend for all of us. So, you know, they, they helped me get to this point. I mean, it feels like we're all All-Stars this weekend. We're all going through this together. Um, I'd say the first adjustment I had to make was probably to the pace more than anything. You know, 24 seconds um, over, over the... Over a whole game, the pace is just faster. You know, a single player might not be, you know, just way faster or quicker than in the past, other levels or anything. But um, just getting adjusted to the overall pace of the game. Games coming, you know, four in a week, three in a week. You know, just getting used to that. I'd say that was my biggest adjustment for sure. Is there one thing you are focused on improving right now? Um, I'd say just, you know, consistency in my approach. Uh, 
you know, just, just coming in every night and, and being able to know what I'm getting to, know how the night's going to look, um, and going and doing that. I say that's no one thing I'm working on. Appreciate you. What do I think of the rookie of the year? Uh, I mean, it's a it's a big time award to have. Um, like you said, a lot of big time competition that I'm going up against. Uh, and I mean, you know, we've all made our case for it. I try to be an extension of him when I can. And so, you know, having him, you know, always pushing me. He's he's been around a bunch of big time talent. Um, so he's seen, you know, what it takes and he tries to instill that in me. And so I, I'm super thankful to have him as my coach this year. You know, I try to win some games for him, try to try to play hard for him, man. I try to. With, in that Rise of Stars game, obviously the, the thing is to try to score. And, and, and people are looking to score, but you put the rebounds and assists with it. How do you kind of stay within yourself when the, the, the nature of a game changes that you're still trying to find other guys to set guys up? Yeah, I'm, I mean, that's how I play basketball. Um, that's how I get joy out of basketball is just playing the, the whole game. Uh, I mean, it's, it would be hard for me to just, you know, go into a game and, and be like, I'm going to get them up and just I hope I can score. I'm naturally going to chase rebounds down. I'm naturally going to, you know, make it pass to the open guy. So, uh, I mean, it's fun. Having this much talent around, you know, the ball was in my hands. I wanted to make sure that everybody was able to showcase themselves. Uh, and now I wasn't the only one with the ball. I want the whole team to get it. And, you know, winning, winning it all was what the goal was. So for everybody to contribute to that, I mean, that's all we wanted, really. Is anything easier than you anticipated? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's basketball. It's what I love to do. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, and on any, I mean, each level, I've been able to, you know, find ways to just be myself and, and people have gravitated towards that. So, you know, I don't really think about it too hard. Um, I mean, it's a simple game. I work really hard at it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just try to keep my confidence high and then the rest will take care of itself. Yeah, I, I'd probably say the pace is the the biggest adjustment. Um, I've, I had the ball in my hands a lot in college. Uh, it's, it's turning into the same thing with the Pistons now. and So getting back in that role, um, I mean, that's, that's my favorite role in basketball. That's what I love to do. I like having the ball in my hands. And I like being able to, being able to create for others. So, um, you know, at first, just, just getting used to the game, getting used to, you know, what shots I'm taking, where, you know, where guys want their shots. Getting used to all that was, was an adjustment at first, but once all that stuff was down, you know, then I was just able to keep building and, and add to my game. Individually, you're having a great season as a rookie. You can see it, but collectively, the team's not where it's supposed to be. What is missing in the Detroit Pistons to really make it to the next level? Um, like you said, I, I mean, I think we have a really good young core right now. Uh, and as tough as it is to sit through some of these beatings that we take, you know, I feel like it's almost needed, um, kind of building our calluses up a little bit. And so, you know, I, like I said, it's tough this year, but I'm excited for next year, you know, years to come. Um, we got a lot of money to spend. We got a big time GM and Troy Weaver who he's going, he's going to do what he has to do. Um, so, I mean, I have full faith in, in the direction we're going in, and I'm excited for it. I'm going to keep playing hard. and.